Gender, not even real. Or biological sex. Whose idea was that? You may have thought that basic science slash I having informed you that male and female are genuine distinct categories. But alas, you're an idiot. Until recently, science told us that men had Y chromosome, male genitalia, the ability to get women pregnant, the blame for everything that ever goes wrong, and women had X chromosome. Female genitalia, baby in her tummy, and lots to complain about. But all of this can be thrown out. Why? Well, first and foremost, those last things on each list were stereotypes I wrote as a joke, so let's just examine the first three. Some men lose their anatomy, and they're still men. Also, some women are infertile, but they don't stop being female. Also, there are chromosomal abnormalities, which result in a person not having the usual XX or XY chromosome pair. Therefore, gender isn't real and everyone can go home. That's right, not every man is identical to every other man and not every woman is identical to every other woman. Therefore, sex is a meaningless category which will only be done away with when we finally overthrow men. This is how definitions work. For example, you may think a dog is different from a human because they walk on four legs, are less cognitively sophisticated than us, and don't use toilets. But guess what? Some dogs have two legs. And in California, humans don't use toilets either. I found some exceptions to the rule of a limited definition. So I guess the difference between species is a social construct after all. And what about intersex people? They prove that sex exists on a spectrum because the word spectrum means everyone falls into two categories except for a handful of infinitesimally rare exceptions. But wait, you may be asking, I thought sex was defined as that procreative act between a man and woman and that we label people male or female because their role in this act or their sex affects their role within the family and thus society given that both institutions are literally built atop the sexual act. And isn't this a concrete fact which is totally unthreatened by some people's subjective view of themselves as being assigned the wrong gender? And to that I say, shut up! The facts are clear! Biological sex is a social construct created by men! And one day women are going to rise up against this tyrannical male oppression! And then us girls will finally be in charge! So you had better watch out with your arbitrary categorization of nonsense that doesn't exist! Or us polygender asexual interpangia demimors will beat you senseless for not memorizing all of the new pronouns we just made up! Hey folks, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this cartoon, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below, and donate at patreon.com slash freedomtunes to help us make more. Thank you.